Parshas Baloischa. This is a shear adapted from the shiurim of Moran Hagoin Reb Elia Lapian Zechat Tzadik Levrocha. The Mesil Shorim says that the Rebbe Nishlelem placed us in this world. where there are many things that distance us from doing what the Rebbe Shalom wants. And in Nimshach Acharehen, these are the Taivas and the Chumrius, the Gashmias, that pull us away from serving HaKadosh Baruch Hu. V'nimtze shuhu musam be'emes It comes out that man is placed in this world b'toch ha'milchama ha'chazoka in a raging battle and namely these are the nisyonis that a person has, the tests. There are times that things can be so difficult that it seems it seems that it's impossible to do the right thing because there are things that just pull us away and make things make it difficult for us to serve a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Sometimes we think that what's happening in the world, all the situations, are insurmountable. Can't, can't, can't do what a Kodesh Baruch Hu wants. We can't. Baruch Hashem, most of the time we, we do, we can, but sometimes the situation is very, very difficult. In today's parsha, we can see a case, such a case, where it seems the test that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is sending us is insurmountable. We can't possibly do what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants. That's what it seems. But it's not true. Man is capable of doing the most difficult things and can do what a Kodesh Baruch Hu wants. It says in the Torah, in our parsha, Parsha's Baloischa, it says a Pasuk in the Torah, Vayishma Moshe es ha'om boiche lemishpacha Yisav. Moshe Rabbeinu heard the people crying, family by family. Ish lepesach aloi. Every man at the door of his tent. And just simply, what is going on in this pasuk? Why are they crying? Klayasur was crying. They were crying family by family, whatever that means. Each the Pesach Oloi, and they were all at the door of their tents. They were all outside. Why were they crying, and why were they outside of their tents? Chazal tell us what's going on. And Rashi brings down Chazal. For Rabbi Seinu Omru, Chazal tell us that they were crying the Mishpachos of Al Iske Mishpachos. They were crying regarding family matters. What does that mean? And Chazal explain Al Aroyos Hane Esorais Lohem. They were crying regarding forbidden relations 
which became forbidden to them. What does that mean? Simply, it means they came back from Har Sinai and their uh, interest in Shiduchim became reduced. Not their interest, but who they were allowed to marry became reduced. The title was given, and many women that when they were, when they had a, a halacha of B'nai Noyach, before the giving of the Torah, they were permissible. They were permissible to marry. They came back from the Torah, and many women, or some women, who were previously permitted for them to go out on Shiduchim and to marry, now became reduced. And for that, they were crying. They don't have a selection anymore that they had before the giving of the Torah. That's this simple. And the question is, the question is, just because, who, who are we talking about here? We're talking about people that, that were, were, were great. They were zeche, they were privileged to stand at Har Sinai and hear the Rabbani Shalom speak. And, 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 and th these people were on a, a tremendous madrega and they're crying because now, now they, they, they can't marry a hundred women and they can only marry fifty women. It doesn't seem to fit that they were crying for that reason. And the second question, why are they all standing outside? Ish le Pesach Oloi, a Pesach in the Torah, they were all standing outside. Comes along more in Hagoin, Rebellia Lapians, that's all, and tells us the truth of what's going on in this Chazal. He tells us that it's not that the selection is reduced. He tells us that's, that their own wives, who they were married to for years, and had children and great-grandchildren, are now forbidden to them. After the Torah was given, their own wives are, are forbidden to them. And that's why Ish le Pesach Oloi, that's why they were standing outside because they couldn't be misyached. They couldn't be alone in, 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 their, in their homes with their own wives because their own wives became now arroyos, as the, as the wording of Chazal goes. And for that they were crying and they couldn't enter their, their, their own homes. And the Pesach concludes, the Pesach concludes, Vayichar af Hashem ma'id. The Rebbeinu Shlodim was angered. Ubeinei Moshe Ra. What is this? The Rebbeinu Shlodim put down halochas on Har Sinai that you can't be with your own wife anymore? And you, you're crying? Don't you know that the right thing to do is to accept whatever our Kodesh Baruch Hu gives us? Even if it seems insurmountable, as, as Mishul Shishoram said before, even if it seems insurmountable, but if the Rabbani Shalom decrees it, even as difficult as it is, my wife, who I'm married to for years and years and years and have children and, gra and grandchildren and, and great-grandchildren, I can't be with her anymore. And you cry? Of course, it's something worth crying about. But, Vayichar Av Hashem Ma'id. Hashem was angry because we have to be able to accept whatever Hashem dishes out to us, 
whatever he decrees to us, as, as, as much as it seems to be insurmountable, but that's our work here in this world, to be able to overcome the Taivas and the Chumriyas and the Gashmias, even, even in such an incredible case where it seems impossible to accept. A person is created by Hashem with tremendous strength that he can overcome even the most difficult Nisyanis. A person is not a good yid only if he eats cholent. A person is not a good yid if he only overcomes minor minor nisyanis. But he, he even has the strength to overcome overcome the most difficult nisyanis as, for example, as we just mentioned in the Pasuk. The Ebershe should help us, we should be zoicha, to accept whatever is decreed by Hashem as, as insurmountable and as difficult as it may seem, because we are capable of overcoming even the greatest, the greatest tests in life. We should be zoicha to do the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Amen v'yamen.